you are welcome to my channel mindset academy in this video we are told to draw the auxiliary elevation of the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen now the first thing you have to do is to redraw the figure that is shown at the top right corner of the screen those are the elevation of a given figure right so i am going to first of all draw that i'll take my cell square and i'm going to draw a vertical line and an horizontal line so this is the vertical line i will draw first of all this way you see that now after doing that so after you've drawn the line you're going to draw another horizontal line right in this manner you draw the horizontal line in this manner now this point you're seeing is this point you're seeing on the screen right and the length from this point to this point is given to be what 50 so I'm going to measure 50 on that point. So with the help of my meter rule, if I place it this way from zero, you can see, and I'm going to measure what? 50. So from zero here, I measure 50. You can see that? And I can thicken it, because that is what I need. Now the next thing is, from this point to this point, is from here to somewhere around here and that's given to be 40 so similarly i'll measure 40 from this point here and from here to here is what 40 and i should be able to thicken it right i'm going to thicken it this way Now, the next thing is, I'll draw the vertical line from here upward. I'm going to draw the vertical line with the help of my T square and C square. Then I'll connect from this point to this point. And also from this point this point you can see that now now the next thing is from this point to this point is this point to this point and the distance is what 20 so I'm going to measure 20 from here backward right so I'll take my meter rule and I'll measure 20, which is the point I'm pointing on the screen. Here is that point, then I'll measure 20 backward. And I'm going to close it up. You can see that? Now, this is the plan. Now, the one on top is the elevation, right? The front elevation. So, what I would just do is I'm going to measure 10 millimeter upward, right? Now I'll tell you why I'm doing that. I'll measure 10 millimeter upward with the help of my meter rule. I'll measure 10. So this is 10 from here to here is 10. Why this point is the middle point here, right? So I'll take my rule, my size square to that point. I'll just draw. An horizontal line this way now come here also and i'll do the same thing here so i'll take it from this point to this point which is that point to that point you're seeing on the screen right and the height from here to here is given to be 20 and i'm going to measure the 20 which is from here right 
which is from this point to this point is going to be 20 right and I can easily take in it too so from here to here I'll take in it you can see that and I'll take here up to this way and I'll measure the height of now we are even the height of that will be 40 also so I'll measure the height of 40 from this point so This is 40, right? And I'll close it up this way. Also, I'll close it up this way. So, with the help of this, we know from here to here on the screen, you can see on the screen is equals to from there to there, and that is 20. So if I easily project this point here, so I'll start from here, I'm just taking straight down here, right, just my line, and I can easily close them up, and I'm just reproducing what I have on the screen. You can see that and this also you can see that so this is the plan this is the elevation and we are told that we should draw we want to draw first of all we want to draw the auxiliary elevation when you are told to draw the auxiliary elevation you are going to project the plan right now how will you know the angle in which you want to project this it is due to this other side you are seeing on the screen there is an angle of what 60 degree so what i will do is if i place my first square on my first square in this manner this is what angle 60 so i will place it this way so it means that this angle here from here to here is given to be angle 60 to the horizontal line here so from here to here is what 60 degree right so that is what we have and that's our plane xy then what xy so i can easily take in it if i want to so now since here is 60 automatically that means if i projected here with this automatically i have to draw this with this so that to form 90 degree so if i place it here so i can call here to be one here to be two here to be three here to be four here to be five and here to be six right so let's go here and i'll project this to this point this way and i'll project this point two to this point this way and i'll project this to this point two this way and this one too this way and this two this way and this two this way you can see that now if this is one this will be the line of one this is four this will be the line of four this is 6, this will be the line of 6, 
this is 2 this will be the line of 2 this is 3 this will be the line of 3 this is 5 this will be the word the line of 5 right so now since you've marked all these points on their lines now what you now do is you will take from this point let's go here to be a b c d e and f depending on what you want right so if i come to this point from this point here right i'm going to take it to a you can see that i'll mark at a i'll come to the line of this a if you trace it is on the same line at 2 i'll come to where 2 is which is at this point All right i'm going to mark 2 you can see that and also this is also at the line of 1 i'm going to also come to the line of 1 i'm going to mark because it's the same line that connects them similarly i'll come from this reference line here this point here and um, i'll move to this point b right so i'll come to the line of where b is located located at point two i'm going to mark on the point of two here so this is point two this is also i'll call here to be point two right this is two b i'll call it two b here should be two a right and here should be one a and here should be one b that's one a right i will have what if i should take it to this point and i'll mark at that same point too to that point will be what one b similarly i'll come at this point i'll measure at d right i'll come to the point three because on the same line i'll trace it to where three meets here i'll mark three that will be three d so i'm going to mark three d right from the same point also i'm starting from the reference point here right so i place it on the point of three i'll mark so this is my 3d here 3d right i also come to from this reference point go to c now if you look at this now i mark 3d here right and this is 3d here is that taken now 3d is also at this point 2 point 4 i'll come to point 4 i also mark again on that 4 i'll mark 3d also that will be that will be 4d this point will be what 4 and d now i'll go to the next one from this reference point here i'll go to c right i'll come on the line of 3 i'll trace it to that point and i'm going to mark this point here right that will give me 3c right and from this same point that i used to get this i'll come to four i'm going to mark that'll be what 4c now i'll come again to this point here reference point this line here place it here to f right i'll go to the line of five here because on the same line go to this point to that line of five and I'll mark that will be my 5f this will be my 5f and if that is my 5f right I'll come to 6 also come on the same line I'll mark on 6 another one again that will be my 6f similarly from this reference line to E I'll come to the line of 5 again because on the same line I'll mark I'll get my 5e then I'll come to 6 the same measurement come to 6 place it there I'm going to get what my 6e so now the, what is left for me now 
is to start joining together. Now, first of all, you see that A and F, they are all connected and everything here is F and A, right? So, I'm going to use my rule and I'll connect everything together this way. Because they are all connected at the baseline here. F and A, everything F and A, they are all connected, right? Similarly, E and D are all connected. This is E and D and I have E and D here. It's connected. E and D is connected. Right? E and D is connected. All the E's and D's are what connected. Right? Now the next thing is C and B is connected. Right? So all the C's and B's are connected. You can see that? Now the next thing is um, E and F. E and F are also connected, so the E and the F is connected. So this E and F is connected, right? Also, this E and F here is also connected. You can see that? Now the next thing is E and D is connected. E and D is connected. So do you have any E and D here? To already connect them together. Then D and, D and C, let's see for D and C. This is D and C, so the D's and the C's are connected. So this and this is connected here. This point D and C, right? And A and B, A and B is also connected. So I'm going to connect A and B here. You can see that? Then D and C, we have D and C is also connected. So these are, this is D and C here, it's connected. I'll bring it together. Right? Now what else again? We say B and A is connected, this point B and this point A. Right? I can just join them, but the good news is it will be hidden line. It will be what? Hidden line. So this will just be what? The hidden line. Because you cannot really see that. So B and A is connected, right? So it's a bending line. So that is what we have there. So this is the auxiliary what? The auxiliary elevation that we just drawn here. So whenever the auxiliary elevation, you project the plan. And if you want to draw the isometric view of this, just click on this link here to show you how to draw this in what? In isometric. Click on this link here. So we have successfully reproduced the auxiliary um elevation that will put the plan right so if you want to watch a video on how to project the auxiliary plan and the elevation together you can also click on this link at the top right corner of the screen so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe like share and also comment thanks for watching